What's going on folks? My name is Josh and I am the Outdoor Dude. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we have more tips for beginners and we're going to be doing a knot video for you, so stick around. Look at that big mama jamma, folks. All right, we're back. Now, if you guys want to see more fishing tips for beginners and you want to see more fishing videos like all the other cool stuff on my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down in the corner and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. For those of you who aren't new to the channel, thank you for coming back. I appreciate every single one of you and I appreciate you guys watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Thank you. For those of you who don't know, I live in upstate New York and I've been getting hammered by nor'eastern storms and lake effect storms and the creeks are too dangerous and flooded to fish and the lakes are frozen and I don't ice fish. So I've been doing a lot of indoor videos and for that I apologize. I wanna offer some sort of value to the YouTube community and there are kids getting on YouTube every day looking to learn this stuff and learn how to fish. And if I can help get new young kids into the sport, that's awesome and that's what keeps the, the whole thing going. So let's get into the topic of the video and today's topic is the clinch knot. It's a knot that I use for everything except braid. I use the modified clinch knot, but that's for another video. Today we're doing the clinch knot, so let's get into it. Okay, so for the sake of the video and high visibility purposes, we are gonna use a carabiner and some orange 550 paracord to tie this knot. So to start, you run your line through your eyelet of the hook, create enough slack in the line to make your loops. And you pinch this, because you're gonna need some space in there a little bit later. Wrap your tag end around your main line five to seven times. Two, three, four, five. And you'll come back through that, that loop you left. It's very crucial before you tighten this down to wet the line with saliva or water to prevent any hot spots in your line, especially with monofilament or fluorocarbon. So you wet the line and then pull it down. And it's important to cinch this down really good. Pull that tag end real tight, pull that real, push that down real tight. And then it's important that these barrels are stacked on top of each other, like so. And then you'll cut your tag end off, but don't cut too much off just in case of any slippage. Even though this shouldn't slip, it's, there's a, there is a slight possibility that it could. So you clip your tag end, and there you go, that's the cinch knot. All right guys, now that is the clinch knot. I have a couple more knots in my repertoire, but that is one of the knots that I use for just about everything. I've caught big sheep's head on that. I've caught good sized bass on that and tons of them. That knot's never failed me. It's all, it always breaks before the knot somewhere. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I really wanna help get more kids into the sport of fishing. It's what keeps this thing going. And YouTube's the second biggest search engine in the world. And like I said, I didn't have anybody to show me this stuff growing up and I wish I had had a YouTube and people like me and all the other people that make fishing videos on, on YouTube that are teaching people. Like the Fluke Master, the great one. Um, as the weather breaks, I'm gonna be doing a ton of fishing. Okay, this is where I'm gonna end the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you like this video, hit that like button over there. And if you wanna subscribe and see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button over there and hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos. And as always, guys, see you next time.